Vacuum technology seems to be moving faster than, well, this. It seems like a few times each year, vacuum companies are introducing newer, smarter, lighter, and more versatile vacuums designed to solve more home cleaning problems. That's the idea behind the new Shark Cordless Detect Pro with Auto Empty System. In this review, I'll take a look at how well it cleans, what special features it has, the overall pros and cons, and if I think I can recommend this vacuum to you. Let's unpack and see what you get. This is a rechargeable, convertible, stick-to-handheld vacuum that also has automatic emptying of the dustbin into a bagless container in the included charging base station. With just one motorized brush head and two small space attachments, the accessories are lean, but that's because Shark says the single motorized cleaner head is designed to be great at both hard floors and carpets. Does it live up to the promise? We'll see in the cleaning tests. There are two interesting features about this vacuum that got me interested right away. The first is the auto emptying of the dustbin, and the second is that the vacuum has odor filtration technology, so you won't get dusty, musty smelling blasts of air when you empty it. But there's lots to look at here, so let's dive in. You can use this as a full-sized stick vac on floors, of course, or remove the extension tube and motorized head to make the Shark Cordless Detect a handheld vacuum, perfect for hard-to-reach areas, cleaning your car, and small tasks around the house. The main motor unit is incredibly light compared to most other stick vacuums. It weighs in at just under 3 kilos or just under 7 pounds. I put my vacuums through all kinds of cleaning tests over a few weeks. I use them to clean up day-to-day -day dirt, then I run them through an array of special cleaning tests. I get them to vacuum up finer bits like flour or cornmeal, middle-sized things like rice or oatmeal, and larger cracker pieces on both carpet and hard floors. I found the vacuum was actually really capable. I was also surprised at how much dirt I could pick up and how much area I could clean without the small dustbin filling up. One thing I did notice is that accumulating debris does tend to congregate around the filter at the top. I was a little concerned about that, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting the suction, so it's hard to deduct any points for this, particularly since when the bin is emptied out, it sucks every last fiber off the filter too. I had some leftover test spills from trying out another vacuum recently, and I decided to run them through the Shark. To my surprise, the Shark Cordless Detect Pro Auto Empty got them all with no trouble whatsoever, meaning it's a much more powerful cleaner on both carpet and hard floors than the much more expensive LG Cord Zero that I tried recently. There's what's called the edge detect feature, which apparently recognizes when you're approaching a wall or a cabinet and adjusts the suction, maybe sideways, to ensure nothing's missed. I can confirm, though, that it seems to be quite effective at getting right to the edges of baseboards and cabinets and picking up almost everything that seems to linger there. Floor detect technology is actually quite common in vacuums, and it allows them to increase suction on carpet fibers to maximize the dirt pull. You can hear it. I found I did get a pretty intense boost of suction on carpet, and it was noticeable any time I transitioned from hard floors to carpet or rugs. I can also say it didn't seem to get caught up in the rugs like some vacuums can, where they will almost inhale the rug fibers and jam up the roller brushes. This vacuum was definitely able to handle both plusher rugs and my flat, ruggable rugs without stalling out, and I found that really impressive. The cleaner head covers about 10 and a half inches of floor per pass. The unit also has LED lights that guide you and show you where the unit is focusing its attention. Shark has branded this as light detect mode, and while I appreciate the marketing, it's really just a light, which is another common but helpful feature on a vacuum. No lasers here like you'll find in a Dyson, but this one also costs a lot less than a Dyson. And while we're on the topic of marketing, the dirt detect mode is the feature Shark is hoping will make you buy this vacuum. Now this feature purports to sense areas that need more care and automatically adjust the power and suction for you, but I gotta say, I'm not a believer. When I ran it over a particularly dusty area or ones where there was noticeable debris, nothing really seemed to change. In fact, I'd say I most often noticed a change in suction and intensity based on changes in ambient light. If I was vacuuming in a darker area or under the bed, sometimes it would pick up speed. Often the little light would actually come on after I vacuumed up something that was noticeable, not before, so in terms of actually seeming to sense or detect where the dirt is, I didn't find that in my testing. Even so, overall I found the cleaning to be really effective on both hard floors and on carpets as well as furniture. When you're done, you'll just dock the vacuum in its charging and auto-empty stand for the next phase. The Dustman on the Shark Cordless Detect Pro has a fairly small capacity. It holds just over 300 milliliters, or about 10 
ounces, which is essentially the size of a travel mug of coffee. But since the dustbin is auto-emptying anytime it's docked, this shouldn't be a problem. The auto emptying process begins right away within about three or four seconds of docking and it happens quite quickly in total taking only about 13 seconds. And in truth, it was actually empty in about three seconds but the cycle continues just in case. This is actually far, far quicker than that other recent vacuum with auto emptying I tested. That's the LG Cord Zero. Interestingly, while most other auto emptying stick vacuums use a sealed dust bag, Shark is doing things differently here. It uses a simple plastic bin which you can just tip into your garbage can. The bagless bin on the base needs to be emptied about every 30 days to six weeks or so, depending on how often you vacuum. A special filtration and odor puck is what manages any dust particles from re-entering the air. It's actually an interesting concept and the filtration pack actually has a very light scent to it, which is a refreshing change. The Sharp Cordless has a battery that will last up to 40 minutes, provided you're using it on the eco setting. Using it on the highest power will net you just 15 minutes. And if that seems a little on the short side, you're right. Comparable vacuums tend to go for longer before needing a recharge, but since this vacuum should really be living on its charging base whenever it's not in use, you should always have a full battery ready for any task, big or small. It takes a nominal three hours to recharge to full, and of note, the battery is removable, so you could pick up a second battery to swap out if you're concerned with the short usage time. One of the worst aspects of vacuuming for some is dealing with long hair wrapped around the vacuum's beater bar. The Shark Cordless Detect Pro has what's called anti hair wrap technology and a self-cleaning brush roller that ensures you're not spending hours pulling long hair out of it. Now, if you do have a long haired human in your house, you are going to definitely like this feature. I tested this out by running the vacuum in my bathroom after I'd finished blow drying my hair. There was plenty of long hair all over the floor and I used the Shark Cordless Detect to scoop up all of it. When I flipped it over when I was done, there was not one single hair wrapped around it pretty darn impressive. Overall, I'm surprised at how much I really enjoyed this vacuum, both as a stick vac and a handheld. I recently tested another similar and far more expensive version of this same technology and I was left sorely disappointed. But this Shark vacuum is extremely effective and it does a great job of cleaning a variety of surfaces. On the pro side, the main motorized cleaning head is wide and picks up a lot in a single pass. The beater brush inside seems quite effective at lifting dirt and the anti-hair tangle properties seem really effective. The auto emptying is extremely quick and it doesn't feel like it's slowing me down. While the docking charging station doesn't have much extra storage, it's also extremely compact and it has a small footprint. I also appreciated the small odor filter. On the downside, the dustbin is quite small, but I found I was able to clean most of my 1000 square foot main floor and not have to worry about emptying it partway through. Plus when I dock the vacuum for recharging, it's gonna empty it out. So I'm always starting the next clean with an empty bin. I didn't find the dirt detection features actually worked and I will deduct points for this but I'm not surprised by it because most of the so-called dirt detection technology that's out there in vacuums right now is really more sales pitch than actual solution. While the cleaning power of this vacuum is actually outstanding, I'm not offended that I don't get an array of dazzling lights to go along with it. The major downside of this vacuum is the lackluster battery life. You're only going to get about 15 minutes at full power here, which is barely adequate. Yes, you can shell out for a second battery, but that does seem like an added expense. And I guess it is an added expense. Again, because your vacuum will be living on its charging base though, you should always have a full battery on hand. So maybe that's actually not a huge downside. For me, the cons with this vacuum aren't deal breakers, just things to be aware of. For that reason, I can definitely recommend this Shark vacuum to you. It sells for about 449 US or 599 Canadian, and you can get it from Shark, electronics retailers, or from Amazon. You should check out why I am not able to recommend competitor LG's Cord Zero auto emptying vacuum, or see what Dyson's lasers add to a stick vacuum right now.